Yo, what's up, everybody, man? I got my girl K Ruth in the building, Tampa's most wanted. You dig? K, what's up? What's up? It's your girl K Ruth. Y'all yeah, oh. know the vibes. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, man, you know, we got a lot of stuff, man. The people want to know more about K Ruth. Yeah, man. So, um, man, so, man, let's, let's get it going. Let's, let's get the people what they want. What they want to know. What so, you want to know. All right, so how long you been rapping? Oh man, I've been doing music since I was a little girl. Music is my passion. Um, preaching in church at eight years old, nine years old, I got proof of that. And singing in the choir as a little girl. I made my first song about school and I was like in the fifth grade probably. So all my life, man. But if we talking like professionally, I've been releasing and dropping since 2016. Okay, okay. So what made you want to pick up the mic? Um just because it, it it really wasn't even my choice it kind of was just there like that i just feel like that's my guilt i feel like you know god gave me an instrument to use it it started with just my voice um i feel like with or without a beat my goal is to just put some positivity out there you know what i'm saying and, and always just shine that light and put a message out so yeah that's my whole goal man Okay, man, that's deep, man. So, thank you, thank you. What what made you, or how would you describe your rap style? My rap style is consciousness. You know, um, I'm really versatile, though, and I tell and I say that because you know, I, I was my upbringing is is the church background. You know, um, raised in the church, but my other side of the family is from the streets okay so you know like i'm right there in the middle of you know i'm i'm not holding it now but don't play either you know okay yeah, okay that's me, man right i'm just reality i feel like all walks of life no matter what your reality is you know my reality some way somehow we can relate Bet. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, here's a question I always ask everybody okay. that's really important to me you know what i'm saying and because it it it's part of the mission, like my right. what my what I'm trying to do for the city, for right. the state, everything. Where are you originally from? Man, I'm from Temple, Florida. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, born and raised yeah. in the city. You know, okay. Like, really, really, really from the city, and um, you know the vibes, man. I've been outside the city a couple of times. I went to college in Tallahassee and different things like that, but. Temple. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. You know yeah. what, man? I, man, I'm going to tell you about my mission after this, but hey, it's going down. I yeah. love the city. I love Tampa Bay, you yeah. dig? So, who were some of your earlier influences growing up? Uh, let's just say my mom was like a, a young, old school mom. So, she did a lot of like old school around the house, you know, cooking and cleaning. I love that old school music. Um, when it comes to, I like a lot of gospel. Like Kirk Franklin, okay, with Fred Hammond, uh, okay, different people like that growing up. Um, so and also now hip hop. I want to say my favorite lyricist as a child was because my era was like Drake, Nicki. I always loved me some Lauren, Lauren Hill. Like that's my baby. Okay, you know what I'm saying I get I get the uh, similarities a lot. A lot of people say oh, I sound like Deja Lope for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, maybe our styles are a little similar, but the more you listen to me, it's like a little deeper. You know? All right. My lyrics, they get a little deeper. Yeah, see, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So, who have you worked with in the city? Mm. In the city, I've done a lot of features now. Like, um, I, I mean, I got it in my, you know, my files. Like, just last year, I did about 18 features in the city. Man. Like, artists okay. Online. But some bigger artists that I've done features with, um, with uh, like Young Dread, shout out to YTC, you know, he's an artist from the city. Um, I just recently did a feature with Tom G. Okay. Um, let me see, Two Turn Crazy, um, Jit Red. Uh, it's just a lot of artists. I work with a lot of artists. Okay, hey, that's good, you know what I'm saying? A lot of artists, I can't even name them all. So, what is your writing process like when you're in the studio? You know, you great come up with this hit, or, mm -hmm. or you know, you just in that mode. You know, what I'm saying, how do you come up with a hit? Like, um, what's I made music. Like, I can make music. Like, I'm gonna just give three different examples, right? Like, sometimes I just get beats, mm -hmm. you know, and I hear the beats, and I let the beats, you know, put me in the vibe. Like, okay. And if it make me feel the same way, like that's where I'll go with it. Now I've had situations where I've 
been invited to sessions to do features mm -hmm. never heard the song before i got there never heard the beat you know i'm hearing it for the first time coming up with this stuff from scratch right okay there, you know so um yeah i just feel like it, it's just what moves me you okay know, i've never been able to just sit there and write a verse without no sound okay I, all right people ask me have you ever just wrote and then got a beat made no i've never done that okay so yeah so nice man that you know that that takes to sit down with a producer and write and build a beat right there right i've done that one okay yeah hey yeah. Uh, you got a lot of experience yeah yeah that's what i'm talking about so how do you feel about the way the music industry is set up for artists today well as of right now today i feel like it's a dog grind you know what i'm saying you're gonna get you're gonna you don't get out what you put in. Mm -hmm. you know, I know nothing is possible. Everything is obtainable. If you had asked me that same question four or five years ago, I would have told you, man, the industry ain't fair. They ain't trying to let nobody in. Right. It's, it's hard. I feel overlooked. But as I grow and learn the business, I realize it's all about strategizing, preparation, planning, you know, prayer, marketing, group music, but that's just five percent. Right. Five percent is just handling your business. Okay. And I think I've learned that strategy. So um at this point I think the industry is designed for you, you know. Okay. For you to win. It's not against you, but it's not gonna be easy. You just right. figure out the formula. Yeah, because if it was easy, everybody be doing it. Right. It's no set blueprint. Right. I'm, real. Like, I'm really glad you like said that. Thumb, you know, thumbprint, I feel like it's the same with the industry. Like, even though it's certain things we all got to go through mm -hmm. as an artist, as a media, as a label, you got to go through certain, you know, levels. But I think it's designed different for everybody. Do you know what? You're the first person who actually recognized that as, you know, 95%. Yeah. And t I always say 10%, but you took it You took it where I really like to put it. Yeah. So, you know, you right on it. I am so, say 90, but shit, the more I think about it, man, that ain't even enough. 97.3. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, who would you want to work with in the industry? Uh, definitely. I want to kick it off with Dave Slow just because of the similarities. Uh, I don't know her situation. Like I haven't heard her really, really making the music. I see her on Twitter a lot. So I, I don't know if she's just living her personal life or what's her situation. But um, definitely just just to get that out of the way as a childhood thing. Um, yeah, man, I'm open to working with whoever wants to work with me. I know I look forward to working with Callie, Ross, um, Okay. Flies. You know, I just draw. I have a song on this mixtape I'm dropping, and I sample. I kind of sample his vibe on 36 ounces. And I had someone, excuse me, I had someone tell me the other day that I should let Bigger Rank in here and possibly get him on it. So, yeah, man, you know, it's it's levels to it. Maybe maybe that'll happen sooner than later. Oh yeah, I know it will. Yeah. Hey, but here you go, man. Here's another question I got that I like to ask everybody okay. because you know. It's going to go into like how, I, how I'm how i going to figure a whole lot of things out. Right. Who are the top five rappers of all time? Who is K. Roof's top five, top five rappers? Of all time. Yes. Man, that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to put Lauren at number one. Okay. I got to put Lauren at number one. Um, let's just see. I'm going to put Wayne at number two. I'm going to put Nikki at number three. Just because like... I'm think, and I'm I'm 24 years old, mind you. So I know most rappers go back to the 90s, like, oh, I love this. Respect to the legends, but when I was growing up, that's just not who I was. Right, was right. It, that's understandable. Um, you know, so definitely, I'm, I'm I, I was a Drake fan growing up, so I got to give it to him. And uh, let's just see who would my favorite one be. Hmm. I feel, I know I feel one in me, man. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, of course. All right. So, what do you hope to accomplish in the music industry? Well, you know, this ain't no, this ain't no game. Um, you know, this is an opportunity where you can really feed your family, change lives, and make an impact. And that's just what I plan to do. Um, I've been loving music since a child. It's in me, not on me. Um, but once I get in the music industry, this is just the beginning. 
You know, I plan to have a Grammy. I got it tatted right here. So when I win my first Grammy, I'm going to hold it. It's on right here. But, um, okay. Yeah, man. I, I'm going to get in there. And that's just going to open the doors to so many other things. You know, I got I got family that's been incarcerated for years. I want them to come home and have security. You know, I want to have charities across the world. You know, I've been a CNA for five, six years working in nursing homes. I've seen the in and out treatment with disability clients, with older elderly. So I'm going to have my hands in, in, in that part, you know, with the nursing home. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just help people open businesses. I don't, it's a lot that I want to do, man. It's just the beginning. I'm also a motivational speaker, so I'm gonna use my platform to have, you know, youth camps, and it's just so much, man. Real estate, buy land. It's just, it's just so much. But I just know I gotta get in the industry first, and everything else is gonna come. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You on the right track. Yeah. So where do you look for inspiration? God first, man. God first, you know, um, and secondly, one of my biggest motivational influencers over the last two years has been Eric Thomas. Okay. I truly am a fan. I truly watch him. I wake up in the morning, I read my Zodiac sign, I read my daily devotion sometimes, and then I get right on YouTube and I, I watch Eric Thomas. You know, he always get me in a good mode, I, um, you know, so yeah. That's the one I actually plan on meeting. Okay. Vision board, and I wrote down, you know, some of the things I plan to accomplish, platforms I want to reach. He's one of the ones I look forward to collaborating with, just being able to speak to people and, and be in the atmosphere. Right. That's, that's a goal for me. Okay. Yeah. So, what is your favorite quote? Uh. When you want to, when you want success as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you will be successful. Okay, that's deep. Yeah, that's his, one of his main quotes, and that's one of the ones I took on to. So I know that I want this shit more than my last bro. Yeah, that means you. Go, that means you already gonna make it. Yeah, you claimed it at that point, you know. But I know I'm at that point now where like I want it. I want it. Okay. You know? I think you're. I think you're there. Yeah, I I can feel it sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes this thing right here feels so close that I can like reach out, touch it, and grab it, and just see it. Yeah. And then I kid you not, though. Sometimes it feels so far away, and I see that cycle again. And I get lost, and I just be like, man, damn, what is it? Yeah. <laughs> but it's something really but, thick in the atmosphere, and um. I'm just holding on to that. But you're focused. That, faith. that you're focused and you got the faith. That's what's going to make it. Yeah. But you know what? There's another question I love asking people. Okay. What What is your favorite kind of music K. Ruth listens to? I ain't going to lie. I, I, I'm open. You know, um, I don't really listen to me all day, every day like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to switch it up. Um. When I'm in a, a turnover, I listen to a couple females that's in the industry, like Lakeel, Lotto, Ken the Man, Cat, just different, you know, to get in that, that turnover. I like trap music too. Okay. I like to pop my shit. I like Kodak. All right. You know, I like to turn up. Um, yeah, man. I'm definitely open, you know. Okay. Man, that's, man, that's what I'm talking about, K. Yeah, so. Here we go. What are you currently working on? When you come to my city, you got to check in. You know, that's my new single that's getting ready to drop. It's going to be on all platforms this Friday coming up, July 29th. Um, we got a video that we shot to it. It's okay. Amazing. We did a community event. We gave back. And uh, everybody that came out was involved. So I'm so excited to see that video and, and for you guys to see it next week. Check in drops. And then my birthday is August 10th. I'm definitely a Leo. Um, and yeah, man, I'm dropping my project on my birthday. And uh, I'm not going to even announce how many songs yet. Just know that it's been a while since I gave y'all a body of work. So I just want to bless y'all abundantly. That's okay. Say. Okay. Yeah. Also, a special documentary dropping on my birthday um, with the project as well because, you know, I feel like a lot of artists get those big documentaries once they blow. 
you know, like as soon as an artist blow, boom, you know, not everybody documenting their background, their history. I just feel like I'm I'm right there. I'm almost in the industry. If not, I'm 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 already here. And um yeah, I'm dropping my own documentary. I'm gonna tell my story now for anybody else has a chance to rewrite it. So yeah, man, it's going down next Friday. Okay. Okay. All be on the lookout, man. And another big collaboration has taken place. So I'm just excited for this season, this whole season, really. Okay. So where can we find you on social media? K Ruth Official on the channel okay. platforms. You know, uh, K Ruth on YouTube. I have my own website, www.kruth.com. And I also have a motivation podcast. K Roof Daily Bread, you can stream it. It's on all platforms. And Thursday, I host it with the bass. And, and every first and third Wednesday, I have Lyrical Cafe where artists in the city can come out and perform and freestyle. And I'm, I'm everywhere, man. I'm omnipresent, just like my father. So y'all check in with me and Sugar K Roof. Okay. Well, K Roof, man, hey, you want to give any shout outs to anybody? Yeah, man. I just want to say shout out to my team. Shout out to anyone that's ever believed in me on this journey. Shout out to anyone that's ever doubted me on this journey. Shout out to anyone that ever saw me out there at the corner store looking crazy and still decided to donate a couple dollars. Major shout out to DJ Shimani, you know, that's been my right hand man. Okay, okay. Photos, he's been following me for two, three years. And you know I can't end this thing without shouting out to you. United Music Mafia Group, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for blessing me. And yeah, man, new levels, new devils. Let's get it. All right. Well, hey, K. Ruth, we have her in the building, man. We lucky, man, to even have you in our presence. It's, guys, it's going down. Nah. Man, we can't wait to hear more stuff from you. And I know there's some secrets back here, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're going to give that to him on the next interview. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of things to talk about. Yo. Yeah. Yo, all right. You take care, man. We'll see you. Thank you so much.